Hey, it's Todd Alt. It's the uh, 17th of January, 2022. What does that mean to you, Skyla? What does the 17th of January mean to you? I don't know. Beginning of the year, there's this. It's Martin Luther King Day. Oh, well, yeah. Come on, MLK. Yeah, sure. It's a federal holiday. Don't you have the day I off? Mean, no, we don't. So it doesn't mean I anything. thought we had the day off. It's a day off with pay. <laughs> it's a day off with pay. Hey, okay. can I uh, have, can, did, you, did you turn this on or do I have it back? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. those are the G-rated. Well, those, those oh, the, you changed these, right? It's okay. Uh -oh. No, no that's okay. Hold on a second. Skyla, you don't have the day off? No. Skyla, did you get to go to the gym today? I, I did. I noticed you're working out At heavily. Oh, I'm so sorry. in the morning. Hey, Skyla. <laughs> yeah? You know who I talked to yesterday? Who? I talked to Madison. Interesting. I did. I didn't. I talked to Madison via Instagram message. Uh... Not relevant to all of the, those home gamers out there. It is the 175th episode of Risk On. What could be the greatest show ever about Risk, which is clearly not, because I Don't can't sit in my chair upright. No, though, that's a disclaimer in which I have to say it's the greatest show. But it's not, because we all know it's not the greatest show about Risk. Hey, if you don't follow me on YouTube, I don't know what you're doing. How are you here? Make sure you press the button uh, and like it and follow it. Uh, that helps the like algorithm. I don't charge like for YouTube, and I, we don't even we don't market. Monetize. We don't monetize, no. so like we just still need you to subscribe. Um, yeah. and you can get me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Although I don't usually respond to Snapchat. Although we got nine. Stop likes. sending me all those nude photos, by the way. I don't know why people do that, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, I'm married. Um, we got nine likes out of Speaking of, of nude photos, That's what good. about you, Jason? Uh, no, I don't really do that. Dude, you're in studio today. Yeah, we're in studio today. Are you today. okay? Are you all right? I'm feeling what, great. Is this the first time since Florida, or am I wrong? Have you been here back since I was then? here one time, and you, one were, day? you were somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, Jason oh, I was and I York. were there. Yeah, I was and in then, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were right. on the screen. So this is like the first time back. We're 25 episodes away from uh, Two. being at 200. Yeah. Obviously, we're changing the format. We have a new producer in studio. Can you like show the the back camera there and see that Christy can be seen? There's her hat there. She has her mask on. She's from California, which means she's worried about COVID. They worry about COVID more in California. Although when I went to California, no one was wearing masks. Orange County and it, was... it changes back and forth sometimes. Well, yeah, depending on if you're in California or California. Yeah. Orange it... County is California. All right. And Everything then, else is cami, cam, ca, cami form. What do you call it? Cami, cami form. Oh. Oh. But hey, there are some what, nice, and the Northern Cali's got some good spots, though. No, I was, I was going to tell you, I went to L.A. for, I think I told you this. I went to L.A. to talk to the guy who's helping me write the book. Right. Then he wanted me to go to his studio, and it was in, like, Silver Lake. And there was so much traffic, it drove me crazy. I went nuts. And I said, forget it. And then I went to dinner um, at Frank, Franco and Moose's, or Musso and Frank's. I saw Billy Bush. I think I told you that, right? Oh, that's and the I guy you saw who Billy said, Bush. Uh, that's the locker, that's a Trumper locker room guy, talk. Right? Locker room talk. <laughs> um, anyways, it's the 175th episode of Risk On. Uh, you got to follow and like everything. You don't have to, but I'm asking you nicely to do it, dude. We got and as much grief as I get as I get online. Look at the ratio. I see it. Um, that, thank you guys for doing that. That's awesome. We have a special announcement. Um, I got a lot of of questions about why your market cap is here okay but you're sponsoring an indie car and i thought to myself i'm a buyer so i didn't send the market cap there nobody likes what we do for a living here apparently so it goes back down yeah but that's not relevant to our marketing budget the marketing budget for a company by the way we're just speaking about companies in general if a company is going to do a billion dollars, and I'm not saying anything I'm associated with is doing that. I'm simply saying if they spend $100 million on marketing and they do a billion dollars a year in sales, they spent 10% of their revenue in marketing, yep. right? Yep. And if your margins are 90%, then really you have the money to spend it, right? Mm -hmm. um, we have announcement, and I am so excited. Brett is going to roll the clip. Let's roll that clip. And let's go. Connor Daly for the race lead. Connor Daly takes victory in the opening race of the weekend. The American national anthem will play this time for Connor Daly. And Ed Carpenter gets the victory. And we are racing Ed Carpenter with the lead.
No, that's cool. I, lo- I, I dude, love that video. Wow. I love it. Sick. I will tell you, I don't know that I've ever had so many private DMs as people thanking me, religious people, people that are, they love the cloth, they love Jesus, they love whoever they love, saying that Connor Daly is one of the best guys around. I, 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 it reinforced my decision that we did this. Midwestern... Uh... Cat, you know, it's it's a it's a hometown for Indianapolis, Connor sure. Daly. Yeah, you know, a lot of people in the Midwest love racing, and they could get behind this local. And who knows, he could actually uh, he could actually win. Didn't he lead the most laps last year when we were there? He did. He left. He left right? those last. Obviously, Bitnow Holdings is sponsoring Connor Daly's new Bitnow number twenty car. By the way, I've been told that it is the first time the twenty car has had a full ride for years. Yes. Ed Carpenter is a legend, by the way, just to be clear. Ed Carpenter Racing. The guy's a legend. He's a hometown hero. Connor Daly's a hometown hero. He's got VK in the... in the. He's got a very big uh, yeah. following on Twitch. Yep. He's got VK as a driver, yep. Ed Carpenter does. Connor Daly has a big following on Twitch. And we have... Can we go to the picture real quick? I just want... I want to stay on it for a few minutes. God, so Stay sick. on this picture. Is it okay? That picture. Yeah. Now, obviously, in the front on the wing, we're going to have uh, Ernity.com there because obviously we own part of Ernity.com. Yeah. But I just love the way the car looks. Bidnow, if you know, is a major minor now. Does that make sense? Major a mi- major minor <laughs> in, uh, in Michigan, and we are mining Bitcoin. And obviously, we have a long term plan for DeFi investments with Bitnow. We have a long term. Please leave the picture up there. I, I just love leave it. Leave that. Is it, is it okay? Oh, yeah. is, is cool. it okay That's to say great, it's sexy? Dude. Can we That's say great. That? Okay. okay. Uh, you can see the Risk On logo in the front, but the Risk On logo is actually going to probably go where Ernity is. Yeah. And then Ernity is going to go down to the front section a bit now on the side uh, wing, the front wing. Yep. Um, and then on the back, we're probably going to have turn on green. Hey, Marcus, we're tr- almost. I'm trying oh, to get T O G on I the back it. on the rear spoiler there. Douglas Gantz, we need yeah, your Douglas. input here, buddy, because um, I think it's like pretty timely that we do this. And Willie is like literally like pounding me. We got to do this because they're going to make diecast cars. So we're going to have like four diecast cars: the main car, the Alzheimer car, mm-hmm. turn on green car. Uh, Ernity car. Can I do more? Can we ask to do one more thing? What's that? I want to get Frank uh, Albo car. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to get you want a Frank Albo car. You bastard, give me one. Come more on, sound. I need Frank Albo now, now, now. <laughs> I want. No, no, no. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Hello, is anybody there? <laughs> I, I don't want to. I don't want to. All right, you, you had your fun. You're laughing. Yeah, that's you're good. laughing. I want a Connor Daly Bit Nile bobblehead. Is that okay? Oh my god! I want that. Oh my god! Can we do it? Can we do that? All right. Oh, I want a bobblehead. Yes, Connor Daly. We'll give out Connor, Connor Daly bobbleheads. That's yes. a great idea. Yes, please, dude. You are. Are you in marketing? I could be. What's your degree in, by the way? It's in marketing. Is that true? No, it's not. It's in business. <laughs> oh, but yeah, that's what I want to do. You who has a degree is Skyla. Skyla, is there a degree in cannabisology? You know, I actually haven't smoked in 17 days. Wow. Did you actually keep your word there? Yeah, I did. I haven't smoked or drank. You haven't smoked in 17 days? Yeah. Or drank any alcohol in 17 days. Is that true? Yeah. What about sake tonight? No, nothing. Like even no I've tonight? gone out to dinners and stuff, but I haven't drank anything. It's been interesting. My dreams are pretty whack. Now that I'm not smoking, oh, yeah. because like the weed blocks out your receptor, like you can't Connor dream Daly, Bob, as yeah. like in detail. So now my dreams are just absolutely whack off the walls. It's been a very when interesting. I was a kid. When I was a kid, I literally, <laughs> my mom, my mom, um, I don't know if it's even here. My mom, I don't know where it is now, but my mom. Yeah, she didn't really like pot, but I was exposed to it as a kid. You know, I just saw people doing it. Can we go to my screen real quick? Hold on a second. Hold on. There's something up there. Let me get it down here. Thank you, Bumby. Hold on. Let's see how this sounds. You just play it in the background, right? I don't hear it. Well, the other two were females. So it's surprised to learn that all... This is like Skylar's theme song. Sublime. I do have a Sublime t-shirt. I do. 
<laughs> well, what's gonna be interesting is when I finally do smoke, I'm gonna get so ridiculously high. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> we're just kidding around here. <laughs> we're just joking. We're just joking. I feel like we're missing something it's on the agenda. Be we... No, we're we're doing the agenda. Don't forget, this is my favorite part. Okay. Oh, it doesn't uh, with the black. Wow. 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 Dude. Look but, at that. Hey, can you change yeah. the background yeah, to people like black, black or? Yeah, like that. Oh. Wow. It looks, it does look way better with the black background. It's, it does, that's still dope. Anyway. Todd, how fast? Of course, yeah. How fast does that thing go? Uh, 240 indie? miles an hour in a straight line. Dude, that's insane. 240. Now, that, I believe Randy would say that's the road track car. There's another one where the, 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 the thing in the back is for the oval track. But I, uh, I mean, I have I have made some changes personally, and since this is the middle of January, let me say that's sick. The changes I've made are that we're not going to be talking about the individual companies anymore, except right. quarterly. Yeah, I don't know that it's helping people to understand what we do when I say we're a holding company and we own hotels and we own all kinds of things, and then people say, "Why are you doing any promotion?" Uh, I don't know. Ernity is a is a platform we have a big investment in, and when you sign up for Ernity, you can trade crypto or other NFTs. Yes, or you can do other things. Or you can do lots of other things. Wonder why we would want to sponsor something seen by millions of people all over the world and in the United States because we are a North American company. You know, on Twitter, I get a lot of questions like, how stupid are you? Yeah. And I don't know how stupid I am. I, I know that I'm stupid, but I just overcome it by just doing the work. <clears throat> and that means you can see me at the Risk On Conference, which is happening May 12th through the 15th. And I would like you to be there. And I think we're going to roll like a little insert here with Nick and Brett. By the way, two of my favorite people in this room. That's like a narrow group here. Yeah. Nick and Brett, these two wonderful, like, father-son team, Vegas natives, I think Nat King Cole. Was it Nat King Cole, or was it, uh, who was the guy who you produced? Was it Nat King Cole? B.B. Uh, King. B.B. King. King. Okay, wow. <laughs> Not that big of a difference, but uh, let's, uh, let's roll the tape. The nearby videotape is Connor this Taylor one. <laughs> That's the one. Uh, I'm, I'm lighter than I used to be. That's, I was fatter than. Check this out. Willie would knife me. Like, he'd actually knife me. <clears throat> if I told you that if you go to that conference, some of you might be going to the Indy 500, but he's knifing me already, so I'm not going to say anything about it. Hey, uh, Hawk, Hawk in seven. In the chat, 1.22 p.m. I love that. I see it. I love you, man. I love you. Uh, Bit now. I saw someone say that it cost two hundred fifty thousand to sponsor an IndyCar. Yeah, for like eight minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive. It's a lot of money. <laughs> but you got a lot of exposure, Huge. and I think Connor's going to be a big deal, right? Yep. Hey, don't forget to uh, tomorrow. I'm off to Indiana, home of Gomer Pyle. Now I want to be clear. I asked someone the other day if they knew who Michael Milken was. I'm like, oh, God, he didn't know. So can, do you know, Skyla, at 21 years old, who Gomer Pyle is? I have, like, absolutely no idea. 
Sorry. Oh my god. Did you elaborate? Golly! Golly! I don't know. Wow, there's a race May 14th? Gomer Pyle. How do you spell Gomer? G-O-M-E-R. Back Brett. home in Indiana. Oh my god. I heard you. Uh, let's 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 see. Go, let's go. There he is. Golly. Let's put it on. <laughs> it's Gomer Pyle. Oh, let's go. Come on. Now, Gomer Pyle, I watched it. I watched him growing up. And every year, for years, he'd sing back home in Indiana at every Indianapolis 500. Let's just hear him sing for a second. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Go, that's Gomer Pyle. You never saw Private Pyle? You never saw Gomer Pyle? No. Oh, boy. Nope. I grew up in Indiana, graduated from Purdue. He was a Boilermaker. Boilermaker Bumpy grew up in Indiana and went to Purdue. Boilermaker. Are you friends with Gene Katie? He passed away, I think. Papa Gorilla. Papa G in the house? Papa wow, Gorilla. Yeah. Let me be clear. At the conference, we would like you to fly out and make lunch for everybody. Is that going to be possible? Can we do that? That's I know, a is lot. that is that a Willie lot. Willie is that going to be possible? You know that great uh, Dominican was it Dominican? Dominicans, yeah. That was so good. Papa, can oh we get God. Dominican? Is that possible that he's going to be able to do that? We would, need would the Paris Hotel let him do that? I don't know. Uh, it's above my pay grade. Hey, it's going to be also live simulcast, and we think there may be a sailor there, but we already know there's a Charles Payne. Yes. We already know there's going to be a Chris Wu. Correct. I'm going to be there. I was working on something Do you else. think anyone else will be there? Yeah, there's going to be a couple people. What? There's a, I'm trying to get a comedian, but... I gave a suggestion last night to, uh, to Willie. Okay. But I don't know if they'll let him in the state because he took a horse tranquilizer. Uh Ivermectin? Ivermectin. Uh, let's let's move on with the show. I'm just kidding around. Uh, can we do can you do me a favor, Brett? I promise you. Papa, Papa. Oh, can you make it? Can you make it? Papa can make it. He says he's still alive. He lives in Myrtle Beach. Papa, don't preach. Uh, can we can we run the risk on uh, thing one more time? The conference one more time. I feel like I didn't do it justice. Okay, okay, okay. So listen closely, okay? I need you to go to ToddAlt.com. I don't care who you are. If you think there's a chance you're going, we're not asking you to pay right now. And the best deals are going to be people who pre-register. So go get on the list at ToddAlt.com. Click on pre-registration. And sign up now. Even if you think you might go, maybe not go, we need you on the list. There's only a limited number of seats. I'm not joking around. This isn't like... Uh, that bullshit you see on TV, limited time only, it's unlimited. It's not unlimited. The room is not unlimited. Bad or good, I tell you the truth. When, I'm, yeah. when I do something stupid, I tell you it. 
When I do something smart, I kind of say a little bit. I really need you to get what I'm saying to you. Limited. Limited edition. Like, like not many people. And everyone there will be treated like royalty because the people there are limited. And you're going to get experiencing the things. It's the first conference. So don't you think we're going to make it like crazy good? It's going to be great. Crazy good, including some poker. There's going to be a Bitcoin day. There may be a sailor showing up. There may be there. We know that Charles Payne showing up. Other people that are like local in 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 Vegas. We can show people. Can you how think to... of other companies that are in Vegas that could show up like other people? You could. I can think you? of plenty. Like, you can think of one big one, right? Yeah. That started from nothing and went to four billion. Come on, man. Get yep. get the point here. You're going to want to be here. You're going to be up close and personal with all of us, and we're going to have a dinner party on uh, Friday. By the way, Skyla, yeah. one of your hot friends, out of control hot friends, <laughs> has committed to singing on the, at oh, Friday night I know dinner. I talking about. I bet you know who that is, don't I you? I do. I do. I'm excited for that. Uh, we also, <laughs> I, excluding me, everyone else, though, will be great looking. You're going to have, like, all the best looking people. And when you walk in the room, you suddenly look better because other people that look better make you look better. So I suddenly will look better than I look now because everyone else will be beautiful and I will be better looking because of you. Did you get that? Everyone when did that? you get her to confirm to that? How did I get her? Yeah, when, like when did I that said, happen? dear uh, Celine Dion, or whoever her name, whatever her name yeah. is. Yes. Would you please sing at the dinner play, <laughs> for dinner? I think you'd be great. People love you. We would love you. And she said, I would love to. Do, no. you, be do you believe me? I know. I totally believe do you. Do you believe me? I do. Because I can show you. No, I believe you. Yeah. And, and then I what did you it. say? Do you take Bitcoin? Oh, 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 my God. I forgot to tell you. I can't tell you who, but someone asked me to pay him in Bitcoin. They said, I would I'd rather take my fee in Bitcoin, not fiat. I'm blown away. You'll be blown away. And he's going to be on the show on Wednesday. Hmm. Oh yeah! No. Oh what? yeah! No. Yeah, dude, Bitcoin is going mainstream. Bitnile's there. We'll be with you there. I'm not joking around. Okay. I'm not making even a little bit of it up. The guy asked me to pay his fee in Bitcoin. You know that thing we do when we mine and like a new coin comes out. Yes. Okay, got it. Uh, Pre-registration. While you're there, check out my podcast. Oh, you're already on my podcast. I don't know why you need to check it out, but there's more podcasts on there. Uh, oh, wow. There's so much. Wow, wow. There's so much going on. I don't know what day it is, but the founder of Litecoin is going to be on our program. Charlie Lee Char is joining the Charlie podcast. Lee, yep. He will be on the podcast. That'll be fun. You know, when he That'll got... That'll be insightful. When he left, I left. I sold all my Litecoin. I know. I, this, this, the second he did, I sold all my Litecoin. like $350. And I said, get rid of the miners, too. Yep. Yeah. It was like almost three fifty, yeah, three hundred dollars, yep. right? Yep. But one, I, I, I'm going to say her name wrong because I call, always call her Miss Pot. Kaplana. How do you say it? Kaplana. Kaplana. Yeah. Kalpana. I know that's how it looks, but Kaplana? someone told me Kaplana? Kaplana. We have a an actual actress. Uh, by the way, our producer is an actress, too. She's been in lots of movies. I, she has an IMBD. Maybe when she gives me permission, I'll tell you who she is. But she uh, she might come on camera today. But I saw her uh, profile, and she has an IMBD account. Mm -hmm. But uh, And she's done movies, and she's like our producer now. I heard she's maybe moving to Vegas, too. Really? Is that true? Maybe. 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 It's kind of a requirement, We'll though. see. Oh, if she doesn't like it, she can bail and not go to Vegas. I look, I'm oh, like, Charlie oh, Lee Barracuda. Is on the I love, I love, uh, I love uh, Vegas. Yeah, Vegas. Is I great. lived in Orange County for 46 years, and moving to Vegas was the very single best move I've ever made. Even better than Santa Monica. Uh, wow. Yep, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Chase likes Santa Monica. Pot. Yeah, she's on the 24th, and then Charlie Lee's on the 26th. So they're like, 26. they're two okay. Part. So she's Next also week. an astronomer, and she is the most That's fascinating, yep. like about planets and stuff. I, I actually reached out to her and said, I want you to be on the show. And she said, yes, you're so gracious. I'm nice. so excited to have her on. She is super smart, super pretty, super intelligent, way ahead of the game. And what I love about her is she answers like people's stupidity about astronomy. She does it with science, and she is brilliant. So uh, what day is uh, on Thursday, January 20th? The Brecky Ben Bitcoin uh, podcast is going to go long, live. Uh, 
He's uh, an, a Bitcoin artist and advocate, creative director at Tantra Labs and Swan Bitcoin. His interview uh, is on the, the, the uh, 20th. I did that interview. I had a good time. I think he invited me to El Salvador. Would you go to El Salvador? Yeah. Oh. What kind of food do they serve in El Salvador? Could, what if I got... Hey, hey uh, Papa, what kind of food do they serve in El Salvador? Is it Dominican? Is it El Salvadorian? I mean, what's the difference? I get a little lost. And like, does that mean if you're if it's Dominican, does that mean it's uh, plantains or is that Cuban? Cuban, right? Yeah, Cuban. All right, you're not being very helpful here. What if I got a? Uh, you're not El, being very helpful. El Presidente Bukele, to Ruscon Conference. You know what's what sucks is that I think I did this out of order, because it says here we're gonna have a great show. I thought the show already started. <laughs> it's all messed up here. What are you trying to direct me to? Oh, wow. See, we're all organized We skipped here now. all over that. We're, 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 we're all rusty. organized. We're, we're very rusty. We're rusty. Oh, Andrea is in town. You know, I had dinner with your wife the other night. You were there, too. Do you remember that? I do. Boy, oh, boy, is she pretty. Uh, and sweet. And yeah. you know what she had me do? She had me pour this hot sauce all over my pizza. Like... I don't know where it came from. All of a sudden, it just appeared on the screen. Like, is there a, the screen, I mean the table. It's good. And it was damn good. Uh, Andrea has good taste. I'm sorry, Papa G. Let's go to the role of the Brecky Von Bitcoin promo. I like these promos. Let's go. No, I'm gonna explain to you. What are your thoughts around Michael Saylor's? He has become, like, a legendary in, in, <laughs> in his commentary. You know, in terms of bringing Bitcoin to the mainstream and making it palatable for... Uh, people in the corporate world and you know he he set off this latest bull run, bull run i don't think anyone can kind of you know dispute that that's what started it that's what's that's what brought us to where we are hmm. he started off the bull run. i love this comment this person in here this is not financial advice nile is going to 45 cents in my a O O. What is in my I M O O O? Laugh my ass off. Oh. Do you think it could go to forty five cents? Anything's possible, I guess. Wow. If I assigned a value of that happening, it'd be like point four six percent. I mean, if it went to forty five cents, I, I I don't know how fast I could trip over myself. I mean, for thirty two million dollars, that's about what it is. You think we could buy We have a bigger our our minor deposits ninety million. Yeah. <laughs> his pr his puts oh, keep printing. Whatever, hey, dude. That's good. That's good. Keep going, baby. Uh this not this is not financial advice. No. I can't tell you where it's going. I wouldn't have thought it went where it what is now. But I can tell you we approved a buyback. Yes. yes. Whatever. Uh let's see, what else is on the show today? Forty five cents. <laughs> Okay. Uh, friendly banter. Oh, I'm supposed to be friendly? <laughs> oh, okay, got it. Market update. We'll do it live. Market's closed. Market, market's closed. That's Wait, the update. Remember Jerry Maguire? Ray, the fucking zoo's closed. Remember? I want to go to the zoo. Oh, remember my God. Remember the little kid? The oh human head weighs the eight pounds. The human head weighs eight pounds. <laughs> By the way, you know when he was on the uh, turnstile, that was Orange County Airport. That was? Yeah, then Jer Jer Jerry Maguire's... Whee! Remember? Right, yeah, he's running through the Orange County Airport. You missing this little guy right here? And he went. He went to. They went to a restaurant, Paco's. Uh huh. Paco's Tacos. You're from L.A. You would know this place. It's like kind of down by Santa Monica it's in Venice. And he had dinner there. Paco's. I, that's where I took my wife too. Paco's, Paco's tacos, tacos is pretty good. Okay. I like Jerry Maguire. Yeah. Was... And then his office was in Newport Beach, or Lee Steinbrenner's yeah. office was. Remember what was what was his assistant's name? Wendy, bring me my numbers. Remember? And I then do. and then Jay Moore, who's what was his name? Oh yeah. Bob Sugar. Bob Sugar. Dude, he was annihilating him. I will kill for you. I will I will rape and pillage for you. This guy was going nuts. He hold played on, a good hold on role. A second. Hold on. This kush. This kush. <laughs> I'll either surf or ski. No Dad, comment. No comment. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, I love that show. I uh Do you guys know what year that was? You might know. You 1996. Ever think you're in, you ever think you're in like a universal cycle? I don't want to forget this. I want to come back to this. But if you go to my screen real quick, it's become a full universal cycle. By the way, this Omicron thing is <laughs> affecting people because the restaurants are not busy. No. People are not going out. Yeah. And everybody I know is getting it. 
We're all getting Omicron. 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 We're all getting it, man. It's called the flu, but it's just worse than the flu. Uh, Omicron surges signs of easing as states hit early by fast spreading the variant. I think uh, um, mm. notice that uh, the, the, I put the headline up on my screen because you haven't said one word about it. I want you to read the, the byline. I don't really want to get into it. Come on. Preliminary study shows in Israel, fourth COVID vaccine shots <laughs> are less effective against Omicron. The case can be made for not vaccinations because Omicron is not affected by the vaccinations. And also the CDC had But to... you do know that people with... The, fair, fair game here. Uh -huh. People that have been vaccinated have less symptoms. I don't know we can debate that. Oh, less symptoms? I mean, yeah, no, they, I don't know. Not, it's not as bad for them. It could be, but vaccinated well, I, people are... I, I personally have experience with this. Eric was not vaccinated hospital for two weeks. Omicron or no, no, before the okay, Delta yeah, variant, yeah. right? But now people with with Omicron that I know have gotten it, they're, right. they're fine in a couple of days. You'll, you've seen a political shift in the paradigm here because now that that narrative isn't as effective coming the midterms. I hate to say this, but everything's political. The CDC has now admitted, and Nick, you can go to my screen for the source, thefederalist.com. The CDC now admits that the cloth masks. We already knew this. If you looked at the FOIA request, Freedom of Information Act, from Dr. Fauci's emails from April of 2020, he admits this. Rand Paul got him to admit it also. That cloth masks don't do diddly. They do not do anything. And when, the CDC I, has now admitted that. When I got on the Delta plane, I had a nice mask, like kind of like Christy has, but it has a little ventilator on the side, like a little thing. That's no go. And they kicked me off. Yep, yep. I'm like, what? Why? You can't leak your you own oxygen. You can't have a... No, but I ask you how does so that make bad. any sense? It doesn't. You have a little valve here with a filter. And it's... then there's people with those see-through masks. Have you seen those? Like that's like not the see-through ones, but they're cloth. Like it's like literally just like mesh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and really? they can go in stores like My that. My favorite are the ones that had a made where they look like their face. <laughs> So you have to look at it. I like see. those ones. Those are funny. Those anyway, are so funny. the KN95 um, is has some uh, efficacy, some effectiveness against the COVID variants, but the cloth masks, uh, 10 minutes. How can you, can you explain this to me? How is a cloth mask good for 10 minutes of deterring oh, the, the oh, droplets? Oh, it doesn't he, make sense. He's saying what? it could go to 45 cents after you take out the Alt Alliance assets. Let me be clear. Oh. We won't take them out. We'll give them to you. If yeah. we, we're, we're going to dividend them to you. We're not taking them from you. Right. You'll get two things instead of one if that ever happens. Um, the big part is if, because you got to get regulatory approval. And uh, that's the if part. Uh, ah, whatever. I don't know what I think about that. But, uh, but I do want to cover the market. It, it, doesn't feel, <laughs> it doesn't feel good this year. Do you feel like it feels good? No. Uh, did you see the money supply? I think I sent you that chart. We've been talking about that. I mean, just the fact the amount of fiat that they've printed in the last... I don't think it feels like a good, good year. And right now, I'm not feeling good about uh, Bitcoin. Yeah. Let's pull it up. 41.7? 41.700. It doesn't feel like it feels good. Let's see if it tests 40K again. You think you can go back and test it? I mean, it, it dropped below 40 a couple times, but... Hell in there. Let's see what happens. I, the other uh, day it was 43. Yeah. Is someone a seller? I mean, I don't know. I'm watching Unusual Whales on Twitter... And they'll let you know whenever there's been massive transfers to cold storage or back onto the exchanges. It's a good indication. Let's go to Jason's screen. <laughs> Have you ever thought about how someone in public service has 10.4 million of investments? I'm just curious. How his whole career has been uh, working for an agent. He he is the highest paid person in any of any government official. In all right? of the federal government. In all of the federal government. Fact. Fauci is the highest paid ever. Fact. Right? Now, he could have inherited it from his father or mm -hmm. his mother. He could have inherited it. He could have won at the lotto. That's a lot of money. I, uh, I do know Senator Roger Marshall, uh, Republican out of Kansas, is asking for more disclosure. He wants to see the portfolio breakdown. He wants to see the options that he's traded. You mean Pfizer? Yeah, Moderna, Pfizer. Okay, I'm not saying I'm not saying Pfizer. it either. You can't say that. I'm not saying it, but Do Roger Marshall, senator out of Kansas, uh, is asking for more disclosures. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Have you ever seen Private Parts? No. Oh, my God. It's the one of my favorite so movies. so hilarious. So funny. I think we're going to have a showing at the conference, the Risk On Conference, of Barracuda. What do you think, Christine? <laughs> Barracuda? Should we watch Barracuda? 
I'm teasing you. No, I, hey, listen, anyone who does their own stuff is great. In my book, if you have the, the huevos to go do your own stuff, you get you deserve credit. And I, I give you credit for doing what you want to do, which is great. Uh, let's see, interdacent market update. Oh, there's supposed to be a bumper. We didn't have the bumper there. Oh, you did? We're going to figure this out. Chat rooms. Uh, uh, okay, good. This is a, she does a great job. I'm excited. Uh, we are going to go to some viewer questions real quickly. Let's go to them. There is, uh, let's see the portfolio history of trades. Uh, I don't know what that one. That's for Fauci. Okay, can I, can I, can I, can I get, answer any of these questions? And today's MLK Day. Yes, it is, actually. Um, I'm a big fan, actually, of Martin Luther King. He uh, had haters. I, believe it or not, I think there was a time when, in the South where people didn't like black people. Believe it or not. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I was told. That's what I learned, right? And he fought uh, to uh, get equality. I got to give him... I mean, to me, he's a hero, right? I mean, anybody who fights the... Uh, Fights the leadership, I guess. Fights. What's the word? What's the word? If you if you're Martin Luther King, and there are a bunch of people that want to kill you, that don't want you to ride in the bus. Mm -hmm. I mean, the guy's a legend. I mean, it's just incredible. And obviously, he died. Uh, he died to do it. Um, fight the good fight. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, it's kind of hard to talk about Ernity at the same time you talk about Martin Luther King doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, it's Martin Luther King Day, guys, and uh, uh, it's, it's a nice federal holiday. It, it's a reminder. Uh, i got to be honest with you. It's still, uh, it still seems very prevalent to me. Not as prevalent, but, you know. Um, anyways, I think it's an important uh, to remember. My, my concern for people is to remember people like Skyla who... who they don't even they don't know who Gomer Pyle is. <laughs> and over time, without having a holiday like this, the next generation, the next generation kind of forget that, right? They forget how we got started or how things changed. Uh, who was the first woman to be able to vote, who, how that changed, stuff like that. I remember a few years ago when I was supporting voters for Hillary, uh, oh people went God. crazy on me. Like my friends, Republicans said, listen, I thought she was going to be president and I wanted to support my, my daughters. She was going to be the first one president. She wasn't, but you know, didn't mean I don't agree with her politics. But I did want to point out that eventually there'll be a woman president. Candace Owens, really? Yep. Okay. Uh, everyone should know who Gomer Powell is. I agree with you. Papa Gorilla, is he answered the question? Can he? Can he cook? Can he cook there? We can make that happen. Yeah, I think so. That's fine. Born a Hoosier by choice. Jim Neighbors. Jim Neighbor. Hey, hey, that's that's Jimmy. Jimmy just said Jim Neighbors. Who is that? Jim Hodgins. I haven't spoken oh, to Jim him Hodgins. forever. Right. Uh, let's go team. Connor Daly's on the show. Hey, hey, can we play Connor's promo one more time? Connor Daly at the 127. He may have jumped off by now. Connor Daly for the race lead. Connor Daly takes victory in the opening race of the weekend. The American national anthem will play this time for Connor Daly. And Ed Carpenter gets the victory. And we are racing. Ed Carpenter with the lead. I, I, I can't tell you. We're going to have a lot more promotional stuff. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff around Indy, what we're doing each race. We have a race uh, chart here. And what I wanted to say to everyone um, is you guys have got to let me know if you're interested in um, it, you're attending because all the people who watch this show are are, are our friends, right? And uh, we want to make sure that they get a chance to get invited to do a meet and greet. Uh, let's do the um, the schedule. So let's say the first race. Let's pull it up here. First race is Firestone, St. Petersburg. That's the opening road track. By the way. Didn't we just buy something in St. Petersburg, Skyla? Didn't we just buy like a building there? Ah, I think so. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Who could be going there? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, the second race is, I always get this wrong. Where's the second race? 
Where is XPL375? I don't know what that is. We'll find out. Then we got to the Grand Prix of Long Beach, back in California. What do you think about that, back in California? What do you think? Long Beach. Long Beach Grand Prix is pretty famous. The Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach. The streets of Long Beach. We need more. You might have a turn on green car there. Why can't we get a race, uh, an indie race in Las Vegas? Too fast? They used to have one. Too Dan th- Weldon died there. I think it was too fast. Too fast. Uh, Alabama. What, what happened? No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. I didn't mean to do that. We got Alabama. Uh, then we got somewhere else. I don't know where that is. I got to remember this. Then we got the. Uh, oh, wait, wait. That's the indie um, street course. That's the same weekend, by the way, as the Risk On Conference. And Connor Daly is gonna like come in from uh, uh, like a live like we're gonna have him live on screen there. We're gonna have a we're gonna have lots of things there. This is gonna be exciting. Here's a good question. And then the running of the 106th running of the uh, Indianapolis Grand Prix, May 29th. By the way, on TV, 5.56 yes. million yep. people watched it last year. Then the Detroit Grand Prix, Road America, Mid Ohio, Toronto. I don't know where that next one is. Uh, we'll go back to Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the road course. Uh, Nashville, which will be incredible. Um, Portland, and we'll end uh, in Monterey at Laguna Seca. We'll, we're going to have two races in California. That road course race is during Risk On Conference, isn't it? Yeah, of course. We won't okay. be there for that one. Okay. But other people, like, we'll have a representative there. Yeah. But we'll be showing it live at our. Yeah, place, right. That'll be we'll cool. have a car running for sure. And that'll be the weekend that Connor wins, and yeah. I won't be up. We won't be on the podium <laughs> with him. You know that, right? That'll be the weekend Connor wins, and uh, we won't be there. What do you think about that, Scott? I don't think so. He can fly the trophy back. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, how quickly There's can... There's 17 races. Check this question out right here. I like this. So Galvanic says, how quickly can the 2300 miners be installed once delivered? Uh, I, uh, I have an idea of that in ballpark. And um, look at this. Can I can I share something? About seven days. Pull pull up our screen real quick. My screen, right there on the screen on the indie website, daily to drive full time season with Bit Nile support. Look at that. Yummy. <laughs> That's nice. I love it. Don't nice. you love it? It's a beautiful car. No, it's beautiful. Right, and we're gonna get a lot of FaceTime. People saying, "Yeah, well, they 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 don't know why we're doing it." We have a consumer facing product, folks. We are launching with Ernity. Ernity is launching, not we. We are an owner. We are launching a cryptocurrency site that's not like anyone else's. It's like a social crypto. Yeah, we could actually uh, we can choose a basket of uh, por- a basket of equities or a basket of cryptos. Sure. And uh, people could actually follow that, from my understanding. Skyla, do you have a actual joke today? I have a actual now, before you say it. Dad joke. Is it going to be funny? I don't know. You tell me. Let's what? go. <laughs> How did the butcher introduce his wife? How does the butcher introduce his wife? Meet Patty. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Really? Meet yeah. Patty? I, How yeah. does the butcher introduce his wife? <laughs> Meet Patty. Meet Patty. Meet Patty. Meet Patty. Ah, what wow, else? wow, 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 wow. It's that kind of day today, isn't it? Uh, Skylar, do you mind uh, Randy? switching places with our new producer, oh, Christy? all right, all right. I see you. Get out of the seat, man. Okay, so why we switch? We have hired a new producer. She uh, allegedly is moving to Vegas. She is on... Uh, uh, she is on the red carpet. I've seen her uh, do some shows. Christy, I don't know how much you are okay telling everyone about you, but can you give us a tiny little bit about your background? Uh, thank you, Todd. I appreciate that. Um, what would you like to know? Well, where are you from? I'm originally from a little town uh, near New Orleans, Louisiana, and I grew up there and I moved to Los Angeles in 1998 to make movies, and I've been doing that for the last uh, 22 years. You're from, you're originally from Louisiana? I'm originally from a little town. It's called Plaquemine. Shout out to everybody at Plaquemine. <laughs> Do you my, know how she said it? Is it Plaquemine? My, 
Plaquemine, yeah, it's French for persimmon. Give us the parish. Iberville Parish. There it is. There it is. There you so go. Uh, it's right below. It's sandwiched in between um, Baton Rouge and then the Gulf of Mexico. And then if you swing back around, then you'll hit New Orleans. Does that mean you know how to make muffaladas? Oh, yeah. You hear that? Are you near Morgan City? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All that. Okay. Uh, Thibodeau, White Castle. Uh, then we, I grew up deep sea fishing yep. uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. We had a um, fantastic uh, fishing camp. And, you know, the hurricanes uh, would always destroy it. Then we'd rebuild. Um, yeah, and so Grand Isle is uh, wonderful. It's it's my it's my uh, happy place. So nice. We, we loved it. We loved Grand Isle. That's cool. Nice. Yeah. And and in Ho you've been in Hollywood for twenty two years. Since nineteen ninety eight. Yeah. Hmm. How's it changed? Well, um, <clears throat> the people who are experiencing homelessness um, were. Um, there recently and then 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 you know they were found housing and that's wonderful um and then sometimes there's now a little more cells that will pop up so um underneath the freeways and things like that mm -hmm. uh, and they do provide sanitary um, stations uh, for these people um who are experiencing homelessness and um it has changed um in a way that i think is good and bad um, I went there for opportunity because, you know, there was none really in Louisiana at that time for uh, movies. Uh, now, you know, with the tax incentives, there's lots of states who are, um, you know, offering filmmakers the opportunity to shoot. So, and you can really shoot anywhere these days, um, you know, with technology. And um, your state of the art facility is amazing. And I'm just happy to be here. So, thanks so much. Have you ever been here before? To Las Vegas? No, I mean to this location. No, I have not. This is my first time. I, I, I was in Las Vegas. I had my, my movie Barracuda was playing at the Las Vegas uh, International Film Festival. That's, this was 2011. So that was the last time I was in Vegas. Hmm. So it's good to be back. <laughs> All right, Christy. Well, obviously, there's now two Christies in my life. One is my wife, spelled with a K, and one is C, spelled uh, with this Christy, obviously. So we uh, will have to probably identify that a little bit better, Skylar, huh? Won't be able to say, I was with Christy last night. I was with Christy K, <laughs> my wife. Yeah, that won't go over too well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like to the show. And that's important. We need you to do that. Jason, what do you have coming up for the week? Tomorrow's trading. What's the market look like to you? Tomorrow, you I can see. I don't know see... that I feel so good about it. I will say this. Um, full disclosure, my personal account does have a long position, a pretty good size of ticker symbol BBIG. And that's going to continue. Uh, where we think we're Sorry about that. I think the gamma squeeze is in play there. There's going to be uh, not many shorts available, uh, shares available to short. Keep an eye on BBIG, not a recommendation. I'm just letting you know that that could be a highly volatile symbol tomorrow. It finished the week very strong. Small caps. Um, there's a couple that I have just been looking at. Obviously, the um, AUMN is cheap off the off the garbage pile at 31 cents. It's now around 38 cents. That's a junior gold and silver mining stock. Um, that one is actually looking very healthy. They just um, they exceeded guidance for 2021 in total uh, gold ounces mined. Again, not a rec recommendation, but that is something that I do hold as well personally. And we've traded that in the past. Um, overall, I would say the market doesn't look very healthy. Um, we're going to see what happens in March. Will Jay Powell, f was he just jawboning, or will he rate, re, uh, do a rate hike of a quarter point, or will he do half a point? There's some pundits out there that say, hey, Powell needs to raise rates a half a point just to remain, just to get some integrity. Credibility. Yeah, and credibility, yeah. yeah. Hey, I want to direct your attention to Consuelo Mack. If you go to my screen, uh, we're going to try to put it in the link there. I will, uh, I will endeavor to do this. Um, I think this is an important thing to watch. Can you go to my screen real quick, please? Okay, thank you. So we're going to play the beginning of it. Um, on Wealth Track, why investment legend Bill Miller has gone really big on Bitcoin. I think the average investor should ask himself or herself, what do you have in your portfolio that has this kind of track record, number one, is so is very, very underpenetrated, can provide a service of insurance against financial catastrophe that no one else can provide, 
and uh, and could go up ten times or fifty times. The answer is nothing. So I, I must direct you to this. Like I, I want you guys to understand. I've been doing this for 30, I think 32, 33 years. I have invested with Bill Miller. I have made money with Bill Miller, and he has made a fortune. And he's done it by investing. He got people in Amazon at $8. He loaded up on this thing like you wouldn't believe. He said it was going to be one of the best stocks of his time. This is a brilliant guy. But don't take my word for it. Go to the Consuelo Mac uh, show, a well track. It was published on January 7th. Bill Miller allegedly has put 50% of his portfolio, and it's not a recommendation. You know I'm long Bitcoin. You know we're mining Bitcoin here at BitNile. You know we're doubling, tripling down on, on, on Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we have not been rewarded for it, not going to lie. Uh, but that's here nor there, because I'm not going to comment really in, in terms of the specifics of the company anymore, except on a quarterly basis. But I will comment on the market, the conditions. The small cap market's terrible. Uh, some stocks have pulled back 60, 70, 80 percent or more but uh, let's not pay attention to the short term because everyone knows here i'm a very long-term investor it's funny to me I, I i see people commenting at me all the time as if i am not long term i, I actually have owned uh the shares of what was dpw all global now bitnile never sold a single share in i think it's five years um that's true i've never sold a share ever but i've owned them for five years and uh i launched this whole idea of me joining two years later with kind of a 10-year plan. So I'm just not really concerned about the every second of the day. But what I will tell you is pay attention to Bill Miller. What are your thoughts on Bill Miller? Bill Miller, I don't really know his background. I haven't been around as long as you as far as the business in, uh, sector. That's a slide, right? No, not at all. Aren't I just a little older than you? Yeah, not much. Three years. I um, But that conviction is you can't really argue with the conviction. Sure. If someone has a belief in a certain thing and they just put, you know, they put their money where their mouth is, um, when you say we're not getting any... I'm a living legend, by the way. No, excuse me, not me. Bill Miller. Bill oh, that was just, that was just <laughs> an accident and mistake. Sorry. Oops. Uh, <laughs> Boom! Headshot! Uh, Bill Miller is a living legend. <laughs> Check this out. Uh, let, me, let me give you a little fun fact. So yes. I was sitting around doing some research in the uh, crypto sector, if you will. What I surmised was... In the sector of many, many, many tickers, I reviewed everything. For every 1,000 ASICs miners deployed, listen to this now. For every 1,000 ASICs miners deployed, energized mining, the market cap equivalent to the tickers on average was $100 million. Let me say that again. For every 1,000 ASICs miners deployed in my research, what I found with all the tickers in the sector they were worth approximately $100 million in market cap. So, for example, <laughs> if you had 20,000 ASICs miners deployed, like a riot, your market cap would be roughly $2 billion. Okay? Right, right. Yeah. So that, I was just looking at the entire sector, BTBT, BT, Riot, Mara, CleanSpark, Nile, OLB, uh, uh, NXTI. So I was just doing a little bit of homework, and that's what I found. Scary. I mean, we have, what, like 2,000 now, right? We have uh, 1,885 miners deployed. Actually mining. E what's our, what's our market? Can be more annoying. E About 60 dBs. What's our market cap? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. Uh, hey, guys, it is a uh, 2.04... I'm going to dinner tonight with uh, Christy, the new producer, and a couple of people from accounting. We hired a new director of uh, public accounting, someone else who's going to be with us. So I'm going to one of my favorite places here. We're getting a little sushi, uh, sushi, uh, what's it, Asian Roku. fusion? Asian fusion. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to it. It is the 175th show. Delete that clip. It's the 175th show. I will. <laughs> it's the 175th show of Risk On. It's Christy's first day, and she's gonna whip me into shape. Uh, let's let's roll the. Let's see. We already rolled that. I think we already rolled this here. What are we running? Uh, let's uh, close with the uh, conference. We'll see everyone uh, on Wednesday live with with Ed Carpenter, Connor Daly, Indiana. Back home in Indiana. I'm going to Indiana. Hey, I think you're going too. 
We're all going to Indiana. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, actually, we'll see you Wednesday.